So today we're gonna to be shrinking the back window on this 06 Honda Civic. I have a couple different cameras set up, so we'll give you guys a little bit more perspective. We're gonna go through one time uh, at a regular pace. We're gonna go through again, just in a little bit more detail. I'm gonna explain um, what I found out along the way with this particular back window. First things first, I have this set up with a dryer sheet, my glass aid, and just some regular dyed film, so you guys know what's going on. I'm using a Drillmaster heat gun. You can find these for like 12 bucks at Harbor Freight. And then also I have my felt hard card so let's just get to it turn this puppy up to full blast and here we go All right, so now that you saw just at regular speed, let's talk about what happened because I made it look pretty simple, or at least that's what I'm told. Um, so as you notice on that side, it's already tacked down. We're gonna do what is called an H pattern here. Now, I usually will tack it in the middle and then I will lightly tack it on the sides and then I'll play around with the sides um, depending on how uh, tight these uh, like fingers are gonna be. So if they're really far off the glass, um, I'm gonna start pressing it out on the side. If they're real easy to press down, you'll see them just shrink down. So we're just using a regular dyed film. These shrink pretty simply. Uh, this is a 1.5 mil two-ply film. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I like to do is start near the highest point and then just try and make everything even across the glass. And also, I like to try and shrink it evenly and almost create this wave so you'll see it starting to like lay down on the glass by itself, just with the heat alone. That is the best way, most even way to shrink a film. And then as it starts to bunch up, I'll start to either do a couple of things. So you can pinch the bottom and hold it and then take your heat gun and evenly uh, shrink the whole thing. 
and then come back over here and bring this down too. And stop in like the middle point because we're gonna shrink it in sections like quarters. So now that we have it roughly even across the whole thing, we have just this edge that we need to take care of. So you can either pinch it, but as you get closer and closer, unless you have a lot of film, um, you're gonna start burning your fingers. It's gonna be uncomfortable. So I'll blow heat underneath it and warm up the bottom, start to curl it. And then you can also move the heat back over and just kind of keep lifting it and then shrink it all together. And then before you know it, just give it one last final like push. And you'll find that sweet spot in between basically almost melting the film and shrinking it really aggressively. And now that it's right up against the glass, you can polish it off and then there you go. Now for this top, what you're gonna find is these corners, especially um, on this car in particular, uh, the film will bunch up a lot more in the corners than it will um, in the middle. That's just pretty blanket statement for most cars, but you see this is a lot more aggressive right here. So we need to treat this just a little bit differently. So let's start with the lowest point and then we'll kind of just make things even. Now you see this little diagonal guy right here. This is a prime example of when I'll start pushing it out diagonally. So that's where both a H pattern is helpful and a bit of a curse. So you don't want to lock it down completely to where you're just trying to shove everything straight up you can let the tension fall out where it wants to go and shrink a little bit almost on the side, right on this line. And now we've kind of just widened out our H pattern a little bit. And now I don't have as much to shrink right on this curve, but I got a little bit more uh, even to work with right in the middle. The middle of this section anyway. So let's start again We're uh, with the lowest point. And then we're just kind of working our way up. I'm just keeping the heat right past uh, where it touches the glass essentially. And just keeping everything moving too. So now that we're getting closer and closer to the top, this would be a great spot to just, you could pull shrink it, you could blow some heat underneath it. It's starting to burn my fingers a little bit. So let's kick some heat like up here. And then we get to that point where we just want to basically melt it into the top and then polish up the top edge. And boom, that's one side. So same thing that we did on the other side, it's just mirrored over on this side. So you got to switch up your hands because you're going to be facing things a little bit differently. Um, also, just, you know, what you've learned on the other side, you take over to this side too. So it's, it's, you'll get a little better as you go through the back window. So we're gonna pull shrink this whole section here, or at least attempt to, and we'll see how this goes. So keeping the film or the heat even, keep a couple inches away at this low angle. And you can see it's starting to fall down, but as we get closer and closer, I'm blowing more hot air at my hand and it starts to hurt. But all this, once you get these sideways lines, that's when you know your film has shrunk. So I'm really using this felt card more of an organizer than anything. Presses the film down and makes everything look all pretty. So for this bottom, I don't want to shrink that anymore because it's already shrunk. All these sideways lines are shrunk. So let's just blow some heat underneath and curl it, bring it up, and then start to get a little bit more aggressive as we get this like wave going across. And then polish up my bottom edge, get a lot more aggressive with the heat, just flatten it out. So let's go ahead and finish up this last section here. Pull shrinking is a really good way to go for all these real heavy fingers. Now, it might be just the way that I laid it out on the glass, but you can see I really don't have as much in this area right here to press out. This uh, corner piece, actually, the fret line curves down a little bit too. Um, so I can just pull it back up, 
and then pull shrink the rest out of it. It's not really giving me that much of a headache. You'll find some small variations from one side to the next. And then we're gonna go again. I'm getting ahead of myself on one side, really. I like to keep it even, but um, the more experience you get, just the, the more you can make up for your own little mistakes as you go through. And then get a little bit more aggressive with this heat. We can shrink this corner. Hi, how are you? I knocked you off the car. All right. I almost dropped the people. All I was doing too was shrinking out a little spot that didn't need to. Got a little ahead of myself and almost destroyed a, a brand new camera. So that's really all there is to it. I know I can make it look easy, but it takes a lot of time and effort and practice um, to get really experienced at uh, shrinking back windows. I've been tinting for about 11 years now. Um, so I just want to also go over the glass aid really quick because it's sponsoring the video. So um, if you guys, after you shrink a back window, you're going to need to cut it out on the back window. Um, so that's why I came up with my very own glass aid. Um, it's a 10 mil thick, woo. It's a 10 mil thick uh, white adhesive strip that is basically supposed to protect the glass from cutting directly uh, on it. So, and it's also white, so you can see as you're cutting it out. Ta-da! So I really came up with it for two main reasons. First is to make it safer to cut out a back window and second, is more for mobile purposes because I don't have glass boards when I'm running around. So I can't take a Sharpie and move it over to a glass board uh, and cut it out safely on a different surface. The car is all I can ever rely on. So even in a tight space like this garage, uh, running around where you're just not in a familiar environment, that is what I made this for. So it, the gist of it, you understand. Um, if you go around this whole back uh, window, cut it out, it's all going to peel away safely. And the idea is to cut with a specific pressure so you're not cutting through the tape, but you're also uh, just cutting through the film and that's all that's getting cut. So you know 100% of the time that your back window is safe. So without going over to the other side, that basically summarizes um, why I like my own product. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, put a lot of time in setting up the different cameras and wanna thank my wife for helping out with the shooting of this video. Um, we're gonna be shooting hopefully some more uh, thorough back window examples and also you know some hand cutting tutorials as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.